looks like today I'm going to be doing the 24 hour eating at gas stations. Get out a ham, do you put your ham on top or your cheese on top? We'll do four honey garlic. Under the meatballs cheese. A buffalo, Monterey, and then I guess a beef taco cheese. No, it isn't. Actually, I grabbed the Tabasco. Hello and good morning. It looks like I'm gonna be eating at gas stations for the next 24 hours, because I put a poll up on my community tab on my main channel, and I asked you guys uh, five different types of videos that you would like me to do, and the one that got the most votes, and there were 1,600 votes on this particular poll, and it was Lori, and she wanted me to eat at the gas station for 24 hours. Uh, I just wanna change the one rule a little bit here, Lori. Uh, instead of eating at one gas station for 24 hours, I thought I'd eat at several different gas stations over the next 24 hours, just to show you the different kinds of gas station uh, places we have here in Canada. I'm going to do a 7-Eleven and the one right behind me right now is a petrol can. Uh, there also is a, an A&W attached to it, but we're not going to do any restaurants that are attached to gas stations. It only can be gas station food. So I thought I'd start in Bradford today at petrol can and go in there, grab some grub. I'm not sure if we we're supposed to eat it all, but I'm gonna grab a bunch of things. We'll come back here, eat it with you, and you guys can see the different foods and see if they're any good, all the different foods here in Canada. Are you guys ready? Let's go. because I guess because there is an A&W over there they don't sell a whole lot of breakfast type foods so I'm just gonna grab this and an egg sandwich make sure it's good October 13th uh, and then we'll grab a Del Monte peach chunks and a coffee of course Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Let's get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. I forgot to mention right off the top, I got myself a new car. It's the Volkswagen Tiguan Highline 2.0. Yeah, that's what I got. And uh, one of my favorite parts about it is this huge sunroof. I got the tinted windows happening so that it'll cut down. And right in the middle, the camera fell off the windshield. Our breakfast came to $17.90. And like I said, I got the medium coffee. I got this little Lunchable type thing, Lunch Mate. Uh, again, the store that is attached, or that is attached to the gas station, or part of the gas station, is called Neighbors. And uh, yeah. And then I asked them at the last second, I said, Where, do you have spoons? And he says, uh, go to A&W, get their spoon. Thank you very much. I'm like, okay. So starting the day off with a $17 breakfast. Uh, I gotta try this coffee first. I'm hoping it's good. I don't think I've ever had neighbor's coffee, but one of my favorite things right off the top is they have the old style lid. Uh, Tim Hortons has changed their lid. It's taller and it's just different. I like the edge of the cup personally. It's coffee. Next, let's just try the sandwich. See if it's any good. All well, these things are interesting to get into. I've got to hurry up before the camera falls off the windshield again, maybe. I think you're supposed to pull that apart, but it's so 
heated sealed that you can't get the two pieces of plastic apart. <laughs> you can't get into your food. I only got a spoon. I'm gonna knock my coffee over. And then the day will definitely take a turn for the worst. There we go. We got into our sandwich. Don't mess with the hungry man. Don't do it. All right, let's see this. This bread is still soft. Cheers. Good morning. Egg sandwich for breakfast. Guess it's no different than a egg McMuffin. Not bad. The bread's a little chewy, but in a pinch, that will do, donkey. That will do. Next up, not that this is a, a breakfasty type thing. It's more of a lunch thing. It does say lunch may not. <laughs> I thought I'd just grab it anyway. Just to show you what they have at the, the neighbors. See if this Lunchable is any good. You're supposed to, I guess, build things. It's got a little Kit Kat in there. Check that out. We've got some crackers, ham, Kit Kat, round cheese. So you're supposed to, I guess, get out one of these. Get out a ham. Do you put your ham on top or your cheese on top? Totally up to you. Good morning. Once again, not bad. Let's do another one. That was actually pretty good. I think I picked this over the egg sandwich. It's much more fun. Mm-hmm. That's yummy. Don't want chocolate for breakfast. Next up, Peach Chunks Del Monte. It's like loaded right up to the top. I'm, I'm kind of paranoid to open it up. Oh, I love peaches. Who loves peaches? I'm gonna be eating all of this because what else are you gonna do with it? It is so full, people. Jeez. Mm, this better go straight into that bag. Thanks A&W for the spoon. You guys rock. Mm love peaches especially when it's in that syrup mm -hmm, mm -hmm. super yummy again i wouldn't normally eat that for breakfast but we have to today i'm thinking in my mind what i'm going to do for for lunch at uh 7-eleven so there used to be a 7-eleven in, in bradford here but i guess it wasn't doing well so they pulled it i even posted a picture about it in 7-eleven Said, yeah, sometimes, you know, things don't work the way we want them to work. And plus, it wasn't also a gas station. So, the closest gas station, 7-Eleven, is in Maple Vaughn. So, we'll be doing that for lunch. And, of course, 7-Eleven has a lot of cool foods. Just a little bit left. Chug, chug, chug. Hold on. I just remembered I have that spoon in my bag for these occasions and that I can wash it at home and, and reuse it. I'm sorry about that. All right, last but not least, the Jumbo Honey Bun. God, that's gonna be crazy sticky. Cheers. <laughs> it's as fresh as a donut sold at a gas station in a bag could get. Tastes like there's raisins in there. Tastes a bit of cinnamon. The glaze is nice. Hmm. Once again, guys, if you're in a pinch for something to eat and you're hungry and it's breakfast time, just grab me one of these and a coffee. We'll probably totally hold you until lunchtime where you get a proper a meal. Uh, I don't. I, again, this place doesn't probably change up their food throughout the day, so the stuff they have at this particular location is just what I showed you in this video. Well guys, that was some of the items that they sell here at Petrocan Neighbors. Again, if I had came here again, I'd probably go to the NW over some of the items that you had to choose from their dispensing shelving units. But uh, right now I'm gonna zip over to Good Life Fitness, work off some of this breakfast, then we'll head down to Vaughn and grab some grub at 7-Eleven, another gas station, just for you and me.
All right, guys, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. It is time for lunch. I am in the city of Vaughan at a 7-Eleven, and let's go in and show you what Canadian 7-Elevens have to offer. Let's go. I'm gonna do two of these. Okay. And then two buffalo. Okay. And then two of the fire grilled wings. Okay, so two, two, two. Yes, please. And uh, sir, the chicken wings make it ten. That's one special. It's a high speed ten? Yes, that's oh. one special, my darling. Okay, we'll do four honey garlic, okay. four of the hot wings, buffalo hot, and, okay. and two of the fire grilled wings. Or, yeah, and then a slice of pizza. Please. Two slices. Two slices? It's a very good dessert. Yeah, but I can't eat it all. You cannot believe it. Taquito. How many? Uh, three, four, eight dollars. Okay. A buffalo, Monterey, and then I got some beef taco cheese. Please. Look at all these drinks. Oh, look at this. You can get your own pizzas. They have the same thing as the other place. But definitely way more food here. Oh, you can get get them to go, heat them up yourself. Good to go, good to know. And of course you got all your coffee. Lots of frozen stuff. <gasps> Pizza pops are my favorite. Gulps. And you can do $1.29, $1.59, and up to $2 a night. That's pretty big. I don't need that big. I just want something small. What should we do? Mountain Dew? Mug root beer? All right, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Have a good day. Very friendly staff. So now our lunch was $22.25 before taxes, after taxes, $25.14 for all that food. Let's get right into this. Let's get out our trusty tray once again and <laughs> start eating. But we've got our pizza, we've got our taquitos, and we've got a whole lot of wings. Check that out. It's even got 7-Eleven embedded in the lid there. I'm not sure if she heated it because I started walking around the store and I saw her at the microwave. So I'm not sure if she reheated this or not or nuked something. So right now this isn't very hot. So this was definitely wasn't one of the things she nuked. Oh. 7-Eleven, when did you put this on? This is crunchy. When's the last time you had crunchy pizza? I do dig their pizza though. Not this one. <laughs> yeah, that one wasn't good. I know it's a gas station pizza. And there's only so much expectations you have for a gas station pizza. So that was your normal expectations of a gas station pizza. But like I said, I had one of the ones where they made it fresh for me and it was dynamite. So I don't know which one's which. I'm thinking this was the second one on the thing. So I didn't do the jalapeno, I did one of these. Let's just bite that. Mmm. The buffalo chicken. It is spicy. Mmm. Oh yeah, that one's good. I like that. That must be the taquito beef and taco cheese. That is dynamite, people. Let's try this one. This one must be the Monterey Jack. Not bad. Nice and soft. I think it was supposed to be crunchy. That middle one was the best one, I think. Mmm. Lots of flavor on that one. That must be the taco and tacos and cheese. Mmm. Really, really nice. Every one of them had a little bit of a spice to it, but that first one, man, buffalo chicken, really hot. All right, moving on. I got lots of napkins on this one. Actually, I think she put them in for me. 
So thank you very much. All right. So I think they're possibly boneless, the big ones, maybe not. This is the grill fired wing. And I love, this is called the flats. The other ones are called the drumettes. And I love the flats the most because you can do that. That. I don't want to put my bones in there. I'm going to put them in the lid for now. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. Mm hmm. I think I gave their, I think that they had ghost pepper wings. And I gave them, I think it was a go out and get it now plus. So this would be the buffalo wing. It looks, the size of it makes it look like it's boneless. So it probably is. No. <laughs> That's a big wing, people. Wow. It looks like they're charging a dollar per wing. Remember uh, back in the day, bars used to have wing night? It was 25 cents a wing back in the day. There were their 10 cent wings way back in the day. Mmm. <laughs> so the outside is nice and crunchy. The inside seems to be okay. Mm hmm. So that was a drumette. The first one was better. All right, so let's go for the honey garlic. Ooh, people. Oh, it is crazy hot. We'll try and eat it anyway. Mm. Wow. Oh, boy. That's good, though. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to have to have another shower. It's going to be all in my beard, sticky fingers, craziness. Again, ladies and gentlemen, these wings were better than all uh, any of the other ones. But if they're charging a dollar per wing, it's better to go for the big ones, right? Because look, look at the huge size difference, right? Look at this. God, I'd rather, for the money, get these ones than these ones because you're getting way more food. I don't know why they would charge a dollar for those little small ones, but they're all pretty good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, lunch was half decent. Once again, the, the smaller ribs tasted the best, but if you want to go pound for pound, go for the bigger ones. Uh, although they're not as good tasting, there's more food on them. The pizza, if you get it at the right time, is great. I definitely got it at the wrong time. Um, and the to, uh, taquitos, uh, I think that middle one was the best one. And I think that was the, the nachos and cheese. That was uh, my favorite one. So next time you see a 7-Eleven and you want to try some of these foods, give it a shot. I drove all the way up to Innisville, Ontario, Canada to an en route and they've got a lot of stuff at these en routes. So it's just off the highway and you've got a market, you've got New York fries, Burger King, uh, Starbucks, Tim Hortons, there's even a bank in there. Uh, but I'm trying to stick along uh, the rules of this game, which is basically just eating at gas stations. So over here, we've got a Canadian Tire gas station and uh, there's a convenience store and then I was told they have food in there and I believe they have like a dollar slushy or something. So let's go in there, grab a bunch of food, come back here and eat our dinner with you guys. You ready? Let's go.
got our trusty tray and uh, let's just take a look at the bill. This is the cheapest meal so far. It's $12.10. Somebody uh, in the comment section of uh, the poll that I put out said, I want to see the Slim Jim. So I got a Slim Jim just for you, sir. Thank you very much for showing that. I haven't had a Slim Jim in years. This is my first time I've ever ordered or make, uh, nuked a sub uh, in a gas station. I'm going to eat this whole thing because I am hungry. All those other things we tried, not as good as this, I hope. <laughs> there are, it looks really dry. I'm glad I got a slushy because that is definitely going to be not, uh, I'm going to need a drink for that with that for sure. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Mmm. Nice and soft. Mmm. -hmm. Meatballs are all right. It does say there's cheese on there. Oh, there it is. Under the meatball is cheese. I'm gonna get into that slushy. So out of the three slushies, which which one would you guys have chosen? I think I do berry every single time. So this is the original. No, it isn't. Actually, I grabbed the Tabasco and uh, thought we'd give the Tabasco one a shot. Cheers. Mmm, wow. You can really... The flavors of the Tabasco, mm -hmm. like instant. Oh, it's gonna burn. It's burning the back of my throat already. It's not really spicy, but it definitely gives you a little punch in the side there. I really don't ever want to know how these are made. It can't be good for you. Yep. If you can't read the ingredients, don't eat it. I don't know, man. Maybe it is good for you. It can't be. It can't be. The only thing good in there is the Tabasco sauce. Right? Right? Back to the sub. Mm. This was a lot of fun. It'd be interesting if I actually stayed on the property of one specific gas station and they just ate their food all day long. I thought this would be more fun showing you the different gas stations and the different foods. Show the logo. Look at that pretty little dog. Mr. Slushy, Slushy Plop Puppy, dot CA, the original. Is it the best sub I've ever had? No. Nope. It's gonna hit the spot, 100%. Mmm. I like that a lot. Also, let me know if you would have combined a few of those flavors to make your own personalized slushy con uh, concoction. It's not bad, but I wouldn't normally buy a Slim Jim. I'd probably buy um, beef jerky over this. Let me know if you like, love, hate Slim Jims. The flavor is good, but it's really greasy. Like, I bet if you twisted it, it would pour out grease. Yeah, a couple of those a year. I'll kill you. Let's quickly grab a Twinkie. I remember when we we the uh, Twinkies hit the news with the whole yeah we're not going to do Twinkies anymore and people like went crazy. I haven't had a Twinkie in a very long time, but it seems a little solid, like not fluffy cake. It just seems like a heavy cake. Oh. Camera fell off the windshield again. Looks like I got to buy a new suction cup because it's obviously not working anymore. That's where they put the cream in from the bottom. Ooh la la. Mm-hmm. Something's different. I remember them being a little bit more fluffier than that. This is like uh, just a heavy cake. Not like I remember, not at all. I think the whole idea of it being more spongy uh, is taking away the experience of this Twinkie. Miles eat the rest of this. It'll probably be another, I don't know, 10, 20 years before I have another one of those. A couple more bites of this. All the liquid's gone out of the slushy, and so it's like just packed ice. So it's like there's a hole in the straw and you're just sucking air because it's just there's no more liquid. You have to wait for it to thaw, I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to thank Lori number one for suggesting 
eating at a uh, eating at gas stations for 24 hours is a lot of fun i tried things i probably never would have tried without you requesting it and it was just kind of fun the whole day eating things there's a few things i've had before and there are a few things i haven't had before so Lori, thank you very much for suggesting that i think the poll's up to 1800 votes and still the uh the 24 hour gas station thing is still way ahead all right guys if you love choosing where i eat next and stuff like that make sure you uh click the notification bell and keep an eye on my community tab that's where all these posts are being done and that's where i'm doing all my polls for where we eat next and if you want to be a part of that make sure that you're hooked up all right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for Lori and you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.